How to add another GFCI protected cable from a GFCI receptacle junction box. Turn off the power. Remove the receptacle wall plate and make sure the power is turned off. Cables entering the GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter, junction box. Cable from the power source. Cable that is not protected by a GFCI that leads to another electrical outlet. Cable that is protected by a GFCI that leads to other electrical outlet. Unscrew the GFCI receptacle from the junction box. Connection sketch of existing junction box. Junction box wiring sketch after adding cable for the GFCI protected circuit extension. Before adding a cable to a junction box, make sure the junction box can accommodate another cable according to the NEC, National Electrical Code, junction box fill calculations. This junction box accommodates 314, 2nm, non-metallic sheathed cables and can accommodate one additional 14 2 nm cable according to the junction box calculations gfci receptacle front view gfci receptacle rear view ground terminal green screw line connection terminals neutral terminal silver screw Hot terminal, gold screw. Load connection terminals. Neutral terminal, silver screw. Hot terminal, gold screw. 14, 2 nm cable wires. White, neutral wire. Bare, ground wire. Black, hot wire. Wires in existing junction box. All ground wires, bare, are connected together using a green wire nut leaving a ground wire pigtail, which is connected to the GFCI receptacle grounding terminal, green screw. Green wire nuts should only be used to connect the ground wire. The green wire nut has a special hole at the top that allows the bare pigtail of the ground wire, one of the ground wires to be spliced to be exposed for connection to an electrical device after splicing. Popular, tan, wire nut which that fits most connections. The hot, black, wires. And the neutral, white, wires. From cable from the power source and the cable to the other not GFCI protected electrical outlets. Are spliced, by color, with added pigtail and connected to the line terminals of the GFCI receptacle accordingly. The neutral, white and hot, black, wires. From the GFCI protected cable to the other electrical outlets. Are connected to the load terminals of the GFCI receptacle accordingly. Pull all wires out of the junction box and open the junction box knockout. Run the 14 2nm cable from the location of the new GFCI protected electrical outlet and insert the cable into the junction box knockout. Secure the cable to the stud no more than 12 inches from the cable entry into the junction box. The cable must be long enough to be properly spliced. And must be secured to the building structure within 12 inches of the cable entry into the junction box. 
Remove the cable sheath. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box no less than one quarter inch. Cut the old ground pigtail wire at the wire nut, remove the green wire nut, wrap the ground wire from the new cable around the existing ground wires from the junction box and use the same green wire nut to connect the ground wires, leaving the new, longer ground wire as a pigtail. A pigtail of ground wire left. After the ground wires are connected using a green wire nut, 3 to 5 twist of wires are sufficient, as too many twists can damage the wire. Insert the connected wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire outside the box. Connected wires inside the junction box and the pigtail wire left outside the junction box. Neutral and hot wire connected to the load terminals of the GFCI receptacle. Disconnect the wires from the load terminals of the receptacle. Disconnected wires from GFCI receptacle. Neutral and hot wire from the added cable. Trim the neutral and hot wire from the added cable to no less than 6 inches long and strip the ends of these wires about 1 half inch. Trimmed wires of the added cable and the wire end stripped of insulation. The length of each wire from its exit from the cable sheath to the end of the wire must be at least 6 inches. And must extend beyond the edge of the junction box at least 3 inches. Group the neutral, white, wire disconnected from the receptacle and the neutral, white, wire from the added cable. Take a piece of wire of the same color, white, and thickness for the pigtail and use pliers, to ensure a better connection, 
and a wire nut to connect it to the neutral wires from the junction box. Neutral wires spliced with a wire nut and added pigtail. 3 to 5 twists of wires are sufficient, as too many twists can damage the wire insulation. Insert spliced wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail outside the box. Spliced neutral wires inside the junction box. With the pigtail wire left outside the box, Group the hot, black, wire disconnected from the receptacle in the hot, black, wire from the added cable. Take a piece of wire of the same color, black, and thickness for the pigtail and use pliers, to ensure a better connection, and a wire nut to connect it to the hot wires from the junction box. Spliced wires inserted into the junction box with the pigtail left outside the box. Insert all remaining wires connections into the junction box. Group all pigtail wires, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches, strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch, and connect them to the GFCI receptacle as follows. Ground wire pigtail, bare, to the ground terminal of the receptacle, green screw. Ground wire connected. Hot wire pigtail, black, to the hot load, terminal of the receptacle, gold screw. Hot wire connected. Neutral wire pigtail, white, to the load, neutral terminal of the receptacle, silver screw. Neutral wire connected. Using a screwdriver, check that the wires are securely tightened and insert the receptacle wires into the junction box. Tip. Always splice wires together and connect only one wire to a GFCI receptacle terminal to avoid loose connections and overheating of the receptacle terminals. Make sure the ground wire does not touch any hot terminal of the receptacle. Secure the receptacle to the junction box. Install the receptacle wall plate. Restore power and test the receptacle for proper operation. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.